Hey, YouTube. Old guy doing things here. The latest project is installing a Summit third valve function kit on an L2800 tractor. And this third function kit is not designed for this tractor. It's designed for the 3901 and 2501 tractors, which are a little later models than this. But if you have an L2800 or a 3400 and you might want to use one of these Summit kits, I can tell you the things that you're going to need to do enable, to enable uh, the kit to be adapted to this model of tractor. I talked to Summit about this, and to start off with, they thought that the only thing that would have to be modified or that wouldn't work would be this bracket that fits on the front end of the loader. And this bracket is designed to be mounted in a different uh, on a tractor that has a little different uh, arrangement here. And, but what usually comes with this is a U-bolt. And the U-bolt goes around the axle, goes up and goes through a couple of holes in the top of this bracket, and you clamp it down that way. In order to get around that, because I didn't have a U-bolt, uh, I used a couple of pieces of threaded rod, 5 16th, and a little little piece of metal that I had that had a couple of holes in it. And I bolted it on this way, tightened it down good, and it's absolutely, totally solid. It's not going anywhere. So those are seven inch, no, those were eight inch threaded rods that I used there. And uh, I'm going to cut them off, paint them in the Kubota orange and uh, make them look a little better. But if you're going to do this modification, you might want to do something like this or get a U-bolt that has a, will fit around a four inch axle and has seven inches of uh, depth from the bottom of the U up to the top of the of the uh, of the bolt. Uh, coming around to the valve body assembly, the the valve assembly bracket, the mounting bracket, this bracket right here, that comes over and the unit mounts to. You can see how it's mounted there, and it, it mounts vertically on the tractor and has a very slight bend to it. The the bracket that comes with this TFK2 kit is this bracket here. And this bracket on the newer model tractors, you can see they have sort of a slanted piece of metal there where it mounts. Instead of being vertical like this, it's slanted, which makes the valve body assembly go straight up. That wouldn't work on this tractor. So talking to Summit, they recommended this uh, this bracket here be used and it, it looks like it's going to work fine. It's the model on it in case you decided to do this is an HW022 bracket and you could substitute that for the bracket that comes with this TFK2 kit. Now one thing that could be done, uh, you see that this bracket, that this valve body is sitting right here on the edge of the, of the loader assembly and a, this bracket could actually be re-drilled and moved over to the left about an inch, which would be a little, would tuck this whole valve body assembly in uh, just a little better and make it look a little better. Uh, the other thing on the kit that nobody anticipated was that this line that comes from the main valve body on the tractor and comes up into, into the summit valve body you can see how, the, how long this hose is. I had to wrap it all around and bring it up and put a big, put a big U in it. And uh, that hose is going to need to be cut off about probably about eight or 10 inches and, uh, and a new end put on it as, so that it can be terminated. That's, that's just way too much excess hose. I'm not going to do that though until I get my uh, front end reworked and get the quick disconnect system on it and, and check everything out. At that point, I'll do that. Uh, the other thing you might want to think about is all of this wiring. <laughs> I don't know whether all these aftermarket kits from everybody are like this or not, but the wiring is, um, is 
is not easy to work with and you can see here that most of them go all the way up have a have a power lead excuse me here it goes all the way to the front of the tractor and hooks to the battery i am not going to do that i don't want this to be uh, live all the time i want it to be only active after the key is turned on so i'm looking i think i know where i'm going to put it i think i'm going to terminate it on a fuse block on the other side of the uh, instrument cluster here but anyway uh, i'm still working on that and i'll work through that but the important thing to to uh, keep in mind here to know about is if you want to use one of these summit units they are pretty reasonably priced but you've got to got to make a couple of changes to uh, to make them work um, so anyway the other thing that i'm doing is i'm getting some additional chafing material i ordered it off of amazon to put over to put over a couple of the uh, the hoses that run up to the front of the tractor and other than that the unit looks like it's uh, well made looks like it's good quality materials the hoses are well done the uh, the fittings are good and so far i'm happy with it so uh, i hope this will be of some help with you or to you if you're uh, have any interest in doing something like this on one of our l model tractors